G'day, I'm Chris and this is Game Chambers. We are here today with Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, we are with a league with the BBB Summer Song League and we are having our match against Wild Ox. Had all sorts of scheduling issues trying to get this up and running, but we're finally here so now we're going to get started. So I'll quickly pause the stream while we go through the picks and bands and then we'll get back into it once we're into the battles. Okay, here we are back with our first game against Wild Ox. I have chosen Empire, banned Greenskins and Dwarves, and Wild Ox has chosen Chaos. So we've gone with a Spear and Shield Frontline, just in case there's any Skirmish uh, and any Cavalry. And then we've gone with a Halberd uh, Secondary Line to deal with Chaos Warriors, because Halberds actually trade quite efficiently into Chaos Warriors. We also have a little helper today. He's uh... Ah. <laughs> helping me out, so I have an unfair advantage. We've gone with some Pistoliers and some Outriders uh, to, to try and deal with the Skirmish and to deal with any potential Hell Cannons. We have got Marcus Wolfheart and a Bright Wizard on a Pegasus. And to, for any Chaos Monsters, we've got the Huntsman and the Silver Bullets. I'm a little bit worried about a um, Lord of Change, a Sartorial pick. I don't really have much in this build to counter Sartorial because it's a very ranged heavy build, but I should be able to wear him down with Halberds, assuming that I can deal with the rest of the the rest of his army. He's got significant magic and ram missile resist. Got this dirty great big rock here in the middle, so we're just going to go around it. Uh, we'll bring one spear unit to face. Oop. This way, in case of any skirmish. And one spear unit to face. This way instead of any skirmish. Oop, not both those units, just this one. Come on, just the one. Halberds in the secondary line. Nice big solid line of them. Make you all one big group. Alright, now, put Hunt Marshal out here. Put the Bright Wizard out here. These guys can go in the middle here. Oop. The Huntsman may want to be spread out a bit, but the... Silver bullets will get a little bit boxier so they can pivot to shoot any flyers. That's not real very pretty. Whoops, you guys need to be group two. You guys can come up here as group three. You guys can stay with the pistoliers as group four and we'll bring you back as required. You can have your own group and you can have your own group. Okay. So we're a bit closely packed together, a bit more closely packed than I would like, but that's because we want to go through this gap here. Um, another option would be to go around the top, but we'll go down the centre. So you know, we are a little bit extent overextended with Mark, so let's get our cav in the middle as well. So that if, they, if there are Chaos Cavalry here, we've at least got our cavalry to support, and then we can pull, drop a net with Marcus, pull back, and then use our ranged fire to get him out of there. That's going to be our plan. Let's see how it goes. Good luck. Have fun. I'm ready. Good luck. Have fun. Alright, let's see how we go. Gonna be my good luck charm, Ronan? Thanks, buddy. Okay, we're up against Chaos Warriors with Halberds, and we do have a big shitstorm in the middle here, so let's drop a net on them. Let's get everybody up. To battle. Formation march. Okay, we caught a bit of the uh, skirmish there. Missile infantry. Oh. What we got at the back? We've got dragon ogres, Prince Sigvold. The Empire endures. Ready. Yes, these guys around that way. Alright, so let's get our front line formed up here. So let's get the silver bullets in a separate group. These guys can come out this way. Silver bullets. I want you to focus on them. Huntsman focus on them. 
Where are you? Oh, Marcus. Put them on skirmish mode just so I don't forget about them. And get these halberds into the fight. Keep these ones back. Wolves behind us. Okay, let's get the fire into that. Two switch back this way. Okay, keep these halberds here. Marcus, switch your fire back onto there. At speed. Yes, sir. Quickly. How are we doing in the middle? It's a bit of a blob, but we're doing all right. These are pistol ears, all right. Come back, get another halberd unit in there. Did you on there? The ground quakes. Yes, General. Keep Keep the skirmish. Formation marks. Go. To battle. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing. Let's drop another little blast onto those guys. Our general fire. Yes, sir. At speed. This way. Drop a net. Huntsman back over that way. Yes. Where's that front line going? Yes, General. Prepare for combat. Go now. Oh, these cows are the halberds. Let's see what we can do about them. Dragon egg is up there. Have rallied. Get them into combat. Fall back. Another unit of halberds into there. Okay. In the name of the these spears Prince this way. Range weapons ready. Onward. Ready. For the war hammer. Loaded, sir. Okay. Sigma. Sigma calls. Hunts Marshal. En route. Let's just play kite with them. How's the front line going? Let's give them another stall. Burn everything! Missiles will fly! Homing in! Sir! Switch on the rat for me. Standing by! For Helden Hammer! See if we can take them out. Switch on to there. Starting to lose the front line engagement, which is to be expected against Chaos Warriors with halberds. Okay, switch on to this unit. And looks like army losses is going to kick in here. So the men of the empire have held firm in the in the gap, managed to keep the guns firing. And good game to our opponent. Let's have a look at some of our uh, damage values. Didn't really do much with Marcus. His nets came in super handy. Spears again. They were just there to hold. Halberds. See the halberds trade all right against Chaos Warriors. Not brilliantly, but the Huntsmen definitely pay for themselves. Silver Bullets definitely did. Nothing uh, overall did super great, but everything did well enough to cause the uh, Chaos Army to fall back. And dealing with these Dragon Ogres, that was a huge investment from Wild Ox. 
being able to shut them down with a combination of the Outriders and the uh, the Halberds, the Silver Bullets, etc. worked out quite well. So good game to Wild Oxy. Let's see what we're going to do in the next match. Okay, so we are back again with the second battle of the BBB Summer Song League against Wild Ox. Uh, he selected Dwarves, Ben, Beastmen and Vampire Counts. Then I have selected High Elves. Um, decided to go something I haven't tried before, but something that, because normally high elves get banned against dwarves. Um, but I want to see if this works. I've gone a triple white lion chariot with a noble chariot that has uh, the plus 10% missile resist and a lariel with the plus 10% physical resist. So, in theory, the white lion chariots will have 50% missile resist. Plus Alariel's healing, so that should make them pretty resilient against the Dwarves. Then go on a line of White Lions to push forward onto the remnants of the Dwarven infantry, uh, Dwarven army, and a pair of Eagles with Tempest to see if that can deal with Gyrocopters. I'm not sure if that will handle Gyrocopters, um, but we'll find out. And I upgraded one of the White Lions to the Pure Main Company, just because I had some points left over and I wasn't sure what to spend them on. Now, do we want to send these white lions forward? We probably do, but we probably also want to go through this tree line. So let's bring them over here, spread them out a little bit. I'm not much of an Alariel player, but I do want to play her more often. Same with the chariots, I don't use them very much. So this is all part of learning new things with my uh, builds. Okay, so we'll put all these chariots here. It's going to be our group two, and this will be our group three, the two eagles. So the job of the eagles is to deal with any air force. But we basically just need to close the gap as quickly as possible. Because if he's got lots of shooting, if he's got a box, we need to penetrate and destroy the box as quickly as we can. Uh, eagles and Tempest to deal with any gyros. So let's see how it goes. Deployed. Good luck. Have fun. So I know this is actually a favourable matchup for the High Elves. So, um, usually in this matchup I would take a lot more uh, infantry. I'd go, normally go three White Lions, two, two Swordmasters, back it up with a few Archers to deal with the, the Flyers and also to deal with the Slayers, and then maybe a couple of Cavalry to, to swing around and flank and get rid of the, uh, the ranged units, and then maybe uh, a Fire or a High Mage to shoot at the... Um, the artillery, if there's a lot of artillery, but usually we close the gap as quickly as we can. Uh, so this is different. I've not played this build before. Let's see how it goes. Should be a bit of fun. And how cool do these lion chariots look? I think these things look amazing. I do love my white lions. And can't beat the white lions on a chariot pulled by lions, can we? Uh, Pure Man Company is another unit that I really love the look of. These guys just look awesome. Love that red. Not sure they were actually worth the additional cost. Uh, the Guardian can come in handy. So if I need to pull the heroes back into them, it does give them, I think, 15% resist. Yeah, 15% physical resist. So that'll give the Noble, what, 15 plus the 10 from his... Uh, 10 from that, so 25... 45, 55% resist if I hide with Ariel and the Pure Man Company. All right, let's see what we're up against. Box on the far hill. Yeah, not really a box. Only one unit of gyros. It does have the troll hammer torpedoes, Belagar iron hammer, a master engineer, a bunch of dwarf warriors, Norgrimling's iron breakers, blasting charges. Okay, let's start making our way over there then, shall we? The eagle's probably not going to be super useful. Uh, there might be some rangers. I'm not seeing a huge amount of the value of this army here, so I'm guessing there's some rangers. Because these are just warriors. So warriors are cheap. And there's not much in the way of missile fire, so I guess it will be rangers, but we shall see. Let's see if we can tempest these gyrocopters just to remove them from remove them from the picture early. Get a tempest on him and get the eagles onto him. Yeah, all right, cool, perfect. Forward. 
broken. Yeah, we'll find out what they've got in the way of missiles, because if they've got ranges, they will start shooting at us pretty soon. Yep, there they are. Three units of rangers, okay. Okay, keep chasing them, keep chasing them, get in my other picture. Okay, let's just get in here as quickly as... So we only need one to chase that off now. Other one start juking. Chariot smash into there and then pull out. Fiery ring going in. Oh. Good catch there. Okay, eagles. Okay, chariot blob. Through. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get engaged, white lines. Gotta get through that front line. Jump in on that one. Jump in on that one. Chariots come out. Let's get that on the eagles over there. Let's get these chariots onto the back lines. That eagle got absolutely wrecked. That was a bit of a mistake. Chariots come back out. White lines keep on pushing. Into the iron breakers. Try and just keep busy up there, Mr. Eagle. Pushing in. You onto the more Grimlings. Just keep moving around down there. Yep, that's all right. Let's push you in a bit further. Keep going up. Keep moving up. Okay, go after them. Keep moving, Eagle. Okay, chariots move back out. Keep on moving. You're after them. You're after them. Okay. No, you guys go in on this blob here. You guys swing back around. Push further up. Put that down. Pull them back out. Let's see if we can cycle charge back in here. Why don't you go deal with that warrior unit? Go deal with the iron breakers. You get out of there. Back in on the slayers. Back in on the slayers. Yep, over there. Get another heal down there. Yeah, keep chasing there. You keep fighting there. You keep fighting there. You fight over there. Can we get through onto that unit? Yep. We protect us over there. Come out if you can. Get into there. There's my other chariot units. There's that one. Deal with that one there. Come out there. Where's my third chariot? It shall be done. Oh, yeah, over here. Cool. Defending order. Keep Asa, going. Move. We go. Keep going. Asa, advance. Yep, we you come back. Asa, forward. Moving out. Onward. Feel like I've lost a chariot. White lions. Asa, Where's that? Dragon back slayers. There's five of them. Let's not do that. Understood. By your command. Let's go up there. Be come done. back. Kill them. Let's just keep riding over the top of them. Yeah, you guys should go deal with the warriors. Oh, what's this? Noble. Noble's gotten caught. That's fine. Restoring order. Kill them. For Assyria. For order. 
Well, and chariots are so busted in this um, this matchup. It really doesn't feel feel fair to the poor dwarves. Let's get some chariots in there. But who's that? It's a Dragonback Slayers dealt with that quite well, didn't they? Yeah, we're looking at armor losses kicking in now. It's Norgrim and Ironbreakers. Cycle back into those. Chase that way, come back this way. Get the Ironbreakers down. They do well, but there's only so much they can do against. Uh, Okay, we've got another healer. Some more wins of magic. Yeah, we're pretty good now. Swiftly. So we save that unit. Stay in the circle. There's army lost us. GG, well played to our opponent Wildlocks. That's a really hard matchup. Um, dwarves versus High Elves, especially when you've got all that missile resistance and those chariots. I don't know how to deal with that. Um, like I said, I haven't tried that build before, but the theory behind it is very solid. Like White Lions deal really well, trade really well into all um, Dwarven infantry. The chariots also pretty much unkillable, as you can see. They didn't lose a single chariot. The Eagles. I don't know if they were actually a good pick or not. They did keep his ranged core busy, and they did deal with the gyrocopters, who got zero value. So they managed, them with Tempest managed to deal with that. If you had more gyros, I don't know if the Eagles would have been able to do their job. The Trollhammer torpedoes do well defending the line. Now, um, Norgrimling's Eyebreakers did really well. It's a very solid unit, and so Dragonback Slayers. And the rest of the Dwarf Warriors, they do struggle with White Lions. Good game to our opponent, Wild Ox. Uh, we've had a couple of good matches there, so hopefully we get to play them again in the future. If you've liked this content, please hit that like button down at the bottom and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.